السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته محاضرتنا بعنوان The Connective Tissue Part 1 The main objectives for this lecture include Describe the components of connective tissue Explain the mechanical protection and nutrition roles of connective tissue Recognize the types of gram substance and their function Define the edema and explain its causes Classify the types of fibers Identify collagen fiber histologically and list the types of collagen fibers and their distributions. Connective tissue characterized by the abundance of extracellular matrix that produced by its cells. Connective tissue differ from the epithelium by the presence of large amount of extracellular matrix. The connective tissue composed of cells and extracellular matrix. The extracellular matrix composed of gram substance and fibers. The connective from the mesenchymal tissue, which also called mesenchyme. The mesenchyme derived from the middle layer of embryo that called mesoderm. Connective tissue composed of extracellular matrix and cells. Extracellular matrix composed of ground substance and fibers. There are different types of ground substance. These are glycose, amine glycan, proteoglycan, and glycoproteins. Also, there is different type of fiber that found in connective tissue, include reticular fibers, elastic fibers, and collagen fibers. Also the cells. There are different types of the cells that found in different types of connective tissue. These are fibroblast, macrophage, mast cell, plasma cell, mesenchyma cell, reticular cell, adipose cell, and leukocytes. The variation in the proportion of these components form the basis of classification of connective tissue. Eden. الاختلاف بأنواع الجرام سبستانس وأنواع التواجد بالكونكتيف تشو واختلاف أنواع السيلز هو اللي يكون اللي يعتمد عليه في تصنيف أنواع الكونكتيف تشو The general functions of connective tissue include the mechanical or support role The connective tissue provides the matrix that connects and binds the cells and other tissues in organs إذا نلاحظ أن الكونكتيف تشو يساعد في ارتباط الخلايا والأنسجة المختلفة لتكوين الأورجانز. It forms the capsule of different organs. هو الكونكتيف تشو يكون مسؤول عن تكوين الكبسولز for different organs. أيضا نلاحظ act as trauma forming the structural framework within organs. يساعد في التكوين التركيب الهيكلي لل organs المختلفة. الدور الثاني للconnective tissue defense and protection role. It has role in defense mechanism against any form particles due to its content of phagocytic cells which engulf inert particles and microorganisms that enter the body and destroy cellular debris. إذا نلاحظ الدور الثاني للconnective tissue هو في عملية الدفاع والحماية من خلال امتلاك فاجوسايتك سيلز اللي ممكن أن تبتلع any foreign particle that enter the body. Also have plasma cells which produce specific proteins called antibody that combine with foreign proteins which called antigen. إذن أيضا يأتي دورها بالحماية من خلال امتلاك بلازما سيلز اللي تكون مسؤولة عن إنتاج الأجسام المضادة واللي ترتبط مع الأجسام الغريبة أو المايكرو أورجانزم اللي نطق عليها الأنتيجين. Also connective tissue protect the body by form and the invasion of micro organism that pass through the epithelium. أيضا نلاحظ إنه when discuss فيعمل as physical barrier كحاجز يمنع من مرور المايكرو أورجانزم أو يبطئ من مرورها من خلال الأبيثيليوم. الدور الثالث للكونكتيف تشو for nutrition role. 
The matrix of connective tissue serves as a medium through which nutrients and oxygen and metabolites with are exchanged between the cells and their blood supply. If an الوظيفة الثالثة هو nutrition من خلال امتلاك الماتريك اللي يحوي على blood vessels اللي ممكن من خلالها يتم تبادل ال nutrients وال metabolites between the cells and blood vessels. نتطرق إلى أول تركيب من تراكيب ال connective tissue اللي هي ground substance. The fiber and cells of connective tissue are embedded in amorphous material that called ground substance. The ground substance, it is amorphous, transparent, and gel-like material, composed of mixture of macromolecules. These are glycose aminoglycan, protoglycan, and glycoprotein that differ in amount and type in different types of connective tissue. What are the functions of a ground substance? The matrix of a ground substance fills the space between the cells and the fiber of connective tissue. It is viscous, where it acts as lubricant and barrier to penetration of any foreign particle in the tissue. Also, act as a medium through which all nutrients and waste must pass between blood vessels and cells of connective tissue. If we look at the ground substance, we can see that it is a process to prevent the transfer of any particle or the transfer of any particle. It also acts as a medium through which all nutrients and waste must pass between blood vessels and cells of connective tissue. It is a process to prevent the transfer of any particle or the transfer of any particle. It is a process to prevent The ground substance composed mainly of three types of macromolecules. These are glycose aminoglycans, protoglycans, and glycoproteins. نتطرق إلى النوع الأول من أنواع الماكرومولكيولز اللي تشكل the ground substance. Glycose aminoglycan. They are linear, long, and branched polysaccharide chains. It formed by repeating disaccharide units. It is composed of furonic acid and hexasamine. The major types of glycose aminoglycans, these are found in connective tissue, keratin sulfate, heparin sulfate, chondroitin sulfate, hyaluronic acid. What are the functions of glycose aminoglycan? They have lubrication function in connective tissue. In addition to the structural function while binding of fibers. If we look at the main role of glycose aminoglycan, it will play a role in the connective fibers in connective tissue. Also, act as medium by which nutrients, gases, and metabolites can be exchanged between blood and tissue cells. النوع الثاني من الماكرومولكيولز اللي تشكل الجرام سبستانز هو بروتوغلايكانز. They are large macromolecules which is composed of core of protein to which glycose amine glycan molecules are covalently bounded. إذا هو يتألف من بروتين بالإضافة إلى جزيئات جلايكوز أمينو جلايكان. What are the functions of protoglycans? In ground substance, they are responsible for the physical properties of the ground substance, where they are, where they are responsible for the gel state of extracellular matrix. If then who must all and have it a viscous or gel-like structure, ily it may be a ground substance. Also, they are aid in preventing the spread of microorganism and their toxic material. From the site of infection. Now, and my son, في عرقلة انتشار ال طبيعة النتيجة طبيعة إنه يكون فيسكس يمنع أو يعرقل من انتشار الميكرو أورجانيزم خلال الكونكتيف تشو بالإضافة إلى السموم اللي تفرس الميكرو أورجانيزم. ال ميكرو مولكيولز أيضا اللي تشكل جرام سبستانس هو جلايكوبروتين. 
They are large macromolecules which is composed of polysaccharide protein complexes. The glycoprotein that found in gram substance include laminine, fibronectin, and chondronectin. What are the functions of glycoproteins? They have binding sites where facilitate the attachment of cells to the extracellular matrix. In the glycoprotein, we have the extracellular matrix. Tissue fluid. In connective tissue, in addition to the ground substance, there is a small quantity of a free fluid called interstitial or tissue fluid. إذا تعرفنا على تركيب الكونكتيف تيشو يتألف من سيلز و extra cellular matrix extra cellular matrix composed of brown substance and fiber لكن بالإضافة إلى هذه المكونات نلاحظ تواجد كميات قليلة من التيشو fluid in connective tissue tissue fluid contains small percentage of plasma proteins of low molecular weight that pass through capillary walls into connective tissue. إذا تركيبة يتألف من بروتينات البلازما لتكون ذات وزن جزيئي قليل. Edema is defined that is abnormal accumulation of water fluid in the intercellular spaces of connective tissue. إذا هي عبارة عن تجمع غير طبيعي للواتر فلويد اللي موجود بكميات جدا قليلة بالحالة الطبيعية في المسافات بين الكونكتيف تشو. Under normal condition, the water passing through the blood capillary wall into the surrounding connective tissue, then return back into the blood capillary. في الحالة الطبيعية الواتر اللي موجود بالبلاد إنه يعبر من خلال الوال into the surrounding connective tissue ويرجع يرجع بالتساوي إلى الداخل حيث هناك equilibrium between the water that exists from the blood vessels to entering the intercellular space and the water that leaving the intercellular space of connective tissue إذن هناك تساوي أو تعادل بين كمية الواتر الداخل الكونكتيف تشو والخارجة الكونكتيف تشو The blood bring the nutrients to the connective tissue which include various nutrients and get rid of metabolic waste away from the tissue return to the blood there are two forces that affect on the uh, water hydrostatic pressure and osmotic pressure hydrostatic pressure of the blood which forces water out across the uh, capillary wall into the connective tissue. Then hydrostatic pressure هو اللي يساهم بدفع الواتر من خلال the wall of blood vessels إلى the connective tissue. While osmotic pressure of the blood, which return back of the water into the capillary. بينما the osmotic pressure هو اللي يساهم بدفع الواتر من the connective tissue إلى blood vessels. In several pathologic conditions, the quantity of tissue fluid increase within connective tissue to causing edema. If in the cases of the increase of tissue fluid in the connective tissue, it will cause the edema. And to know this, is that large the space between the components of connective tissue caused by the increase in the liquid between the components of the connective tissue. And to know that. هي عبارة عن زيادة المسافة بين مكونات الكونكتيف تيشو واللي سببها هي زيادة الليكويد between these components of connective tissue What is responsible for the general state of connective tissue matrix? This question for you Connective tissue fibers are formed by proteins that polymerize into elongated structure. There are three types of fibers. These are collagen fibers, elastic fibers, and reticular fibers. These are distinguished by their appearance, biochemical, and mechanical properties. 
These five are distributed in variable proportion among different types of connective tissue. Collagen fibers, also called white fibers, they consist of collagen protein. It is diameter less than 10 micrometer in diameter. These fibers are most widely distributed uh, in connective tissue, where found nearly in all types of connective tissue. What's the character feature of collagen fibers? The collagen fibers appear as straight or slightly wavy, not branched, usually run in bundles. ومثل ما نلاحظ في الصورة this collagen fibers نلاحظها usually found in bundle these bundle not branched run straight or slightly wavy not branch found in bundles هذه هي الكولاجين fibers Within bundle, the collagen fibers are held together by a small amount of mucoprotein. Then, ترتبط الفيبرز مع بعضهم بالبندل بوجود كمية من الميوكوبروتين. This is the structure of fiber. هذا هو الفيبر, collagen fiber الواحد. Each fiber consists of parallel aggregation of thinner fibra. إذن الفايبر هو عبارة عن مجموعة من الفيبرز هذه هي الفيبرز which is composed of فيبرز كل فيبرز هو عبارة عن مجموعة من المايكرو فيبرز each micro fibril composed of a smaller unit called thrombocollagenols إذن مثل ما لاحظ each molecule composed of a three polypeptide chain called alpha chain that arrange in triple helix in the shakili collagen molecules. The collagen fibers the collagen fibers are flexible, inelastic and have the style strength. So the collagen fiber confer both flexibility and strength the, to the tissue. Then when we use the collagen fiber in tissue, it will give the strength and strength to this tissue. There are different types of collagen which have been identified and distinguished by their composition, morphology characteristics, distribution, and function. Collagen type 1, that is most type, common type and wide separate distribution in connective tissue. It form thick fibers that organize into bundle. Then how the not diamond equal shikil thick fiber shikil bundle. This type found in tendon, bone, dermis of the skin, and organ capsule. Collagen type 2, it found as fine fibrils and not form fibers present in hair and cartilage and elastic cartilage. Collagen type 3. It occurs as thin fiber that arrange in loose network. Other shikil ikun shikil thin fibers. Literative if shikil shebeke mufakeke. This found in reticular connective tissue, smooth muscle, spleen, and blood vessels. Collagen type 4. It forms meshwork of brocollagen molecule that constitute the structural components of basal lamina. Collagen type 5. It forms very thin fibrils that found in association with type 1 collagen and in placenta. هذا النوع يكون يتواجد مع الكولاجين type 1 وموجود في المشيمة. Collagen type 6 It is form a small aggregation known as anchoring fibrils. يتكون مثل كلابات شكلها that bind the basal lamina to the underlying connective tissue. 
The collagen synthesis by cells called fibroblasts in addition to the osteoblasts and chondroblasts. إذن هذه الخلايا مسؤولة عن تصنيع الكولاجين فايبرز. Fibroblasts synthesis thrombocollagen molecules which compose of three polypeptide chains that arrange in a triple helix. Then, these thrombocollagen molecules aggregate into microfibrils subunits which are packed together to form fibrils. The butter aggregated of fibers to form collagen fibers. Then the fibers are arranged into bundles. <laughs>